right, so today we are going to make the Blossom 2 bracelet. Um, this is a wonderful lightweight bracelet. Um, it fits really nice. It's comfortable. Um, let's take a little closer look at it, why don't we? pretty excited about this so this is very similar to our first bracelet it doesn't have the rivoli um, and also in addition to that um, I made changes to the um, bezelment so I switched out the levinos and put in um, a leveno delicas and then I also did a different color so that there's a little bit more contrast and um, it really turned out really nice. And this is a bracelet where you can do one row of Tylas. You could do two rows of Tylas. You could do three, four, or five. Uh, so let's um, get started. I think you're going to have a lot of fun. Um, in the um, instructions, I'm going to do the two rows again. I just think it's kind of a nice bracelet without being... Um, too wide or too thin um, it's just a nice comfortable uh, width to work with so um, go ahead and meet me back here gather up your supplies and we'll go ahead and get started all right everyone uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started with making this bracelet um, and we're going to do it depends on how many rows of tyla beads um, you're going to be doing um, I'm going to be doing a total of two rows, so I will need th three rows of right angle weave. If you're going to be doing three, you'll need four rows of right angle weave. If you're doing five, you will need six rows of right angle weave. Um, and basically what we're going to start off with doing is just making our rows of right angle weave to the length we want our bracelet to be. And each row of right angle weave will have the same number of units, okay? And each unit of right angle weave you'll need per tyla, you'll need two. So you'll need an even number to start off with. And what we're going to do with making our right angle weave, just a refresher, is your first unit will always be four. Make it a little closer. Um, and just so I keep myself from making mistakes, let me just kind of go back here and talk about what I've done, is I've laid out um, a total of 10 units and I'll keep doing that. I'll keep adding an even number of unit, um, right angle weave units until I have about six inches because I want my bracelet to be six and a half inches. I'm making this for someone else. So um, what I'm going to do just to make sure I always do even numbers is on my first one, is I'm just going to do groups of 10 until I get close to that uh, five and a half, five inches, and then I'll just slowly add on the number of units and even numbers to start off with um, until I get to the six inches, okay? So, um, and keep in mind, so I have these groups, I have two groups here, two rows of five units. Just remember the first unit, you'll always start with four, and then every unit thereafter will be three. So I have it all pre-counted just to start off with my first 10 units. And then I'll just keep going. All right, so your first unit, you need four 11 seed beads. And you want your thread to be at least one wingspan um, and give yourself six to eight inches for tail. And you'll be adding plenty of thread throughout this project. All right. So. There we go. So you thread um, with four needles and then you just go through that 
first uh, eleven O seed bead that you started off with, and you're going to create a circle. You're going to create your first right angle weave unit of four. And don't worry about it um, being a little wonky as you first start off. As we go throughout this project, everything will align itself. Um, and those of you who are used to beading with me, you'll know that I like to reinforce everything. Um, just so that we have room to move through these beads because we will be reinforcing as we do our embellishment. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and keep going. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on my second right angle weave unit. And just a refresher, so my thread is coming out this direction. So I'm going to go through again, and I only need three beads because my fourth bead is that bead from the last unit. There we go. Just readjust the beads. So you have your two units on. All right. My thread's coming out from here. And the direction my um, units are going to be going is in this direction here. So this is my top bead. So this is the bead I want to come out of. So I'm just going to have to follow my thread path until I'm going through that bead. There we go. This is very similar to what we've done already. The only thing is, is we're just simply doing right angle weaves to start off with. So now I'm coming out of that. I'm going to put on my third unit. So I picked up 11, I mean, three 11 all seed beads go through the same bead that I'm coming out of to create my third unit now I got three units on and again it will get a little wonky as you're doing this so just try to you know don't over tighten it but Try to keep it in shape and don't worry too much about it getting a little wonky because as we're adding our other beads and putting the bracelet together, these right angle weaves will fall into place on these units. All right, so let's just do it one more time, a couple more times here. So I'm coming out of this bead. I actually want to go coming out of this one here because I want to go straight and create a line. And I'm just going to follow the thread path until I get to the unit I want to be coming out of. So now I'll be coming out of this, the correct seed bead. Okay. And yeah, it gets a little wonky, but that's okay because I know things are going to straighten out. I pick three more 11 0 seed beads up and then I go through that unit again. Was this my fourth unit? I think so. And I just keep repeating that pattern. So I'm coming out of here. I want to go out of here. So I'm creating a nice straight line. I follow my thread path so I don't create a new thread path and have my beads all wonky and not being able to straighten out later on. So now I'm picking up three more 11 OC beads okay coming out of the correct bead going through to create my next right angle weave and then you just keep doing that so I'm coming out of here I'll move up to here following the thread path and then pick up three more And 
And again, don't worry about being overly tight because as we do the embellishments, as we put the bracelet together, everything will be reinforced and tightened then. So what you want to do is you're just creating, there we go. It looks a little funky right now, but um, it will come together. Let me see here if I can just do this. There. There. I'll just hold it in place a little bit with my needle. So basically, you are in... If I didn't have my needle going through those beads right now, it would not be straight. So don't worry about that, okay? Honestly, as we put the bracelet together, um, it will look, it will, everything will sit in place and it will come together. I promise you on that. So don't worry if it's a little wonky. What you want to do is you want to create the length you want. And let's say if you're doing the same number of rows that I am, which I'm going to be doing four, I mean, I'm sorry, I'll be doing two rows of Tyler beads. So I am going to need three rows of right angle weave, okay? If you're doing three, do four. If you're doing um, four, do five. And if you're doing five, do six. And what you want to do is just create your right angle weave units they're going to need to be the same number of units for now just do an even number of units to keep things even with the number of tilas if you need to add on we can always add on at the end so if you're not positive on how everything's going to measure with your clasp you know do it a little bit on the short side because you can always add on at the end <clears throat> before we do our embellishment um, this particular bracelet does lay fairly flat on the wrist, so you don't really need to add extra. Um, and so, um, I want to do probably just slightly over six and a half, but not much more, because, um, I'm making this bracelet about six to fit six and a half inches around the wrist. Okay, um, so that's just something for me to keep in mind. I know that with my clasp and jump rings, that's going to give me an extra half of an inch. So I am um, going to probably make my bracelet just slightly over six inches. So when I do my first right angle weave to figure out how many I need to do for the others, I will be measuring this and keeping track. And that's why um, making sure you're doing it in groups of maybe 10 to start off with until you get that first chunk and then doing the even numbers to keep track of how many units you are adding. And if you lose track, if you lose track, you can count your units by just counting the little top, the one side. So I got, here, let me just bat, there we go. I got one, two, three, four, five units on right now, okay? And that's how you'll know how many units you have. And then once you figured out the length for the first length of your right angle weave units, all your additional right angle weave units will be the exact same. Okay, so go ahead, do this. Um, if you're doing it like me, you're doing two rows of tilas, go ahead and do three rows of right angle weave. If you're doing more rows of tila, go ahead and it's just the number of rows you're doing plus one. Okay, and then meet me back here once you have all your rows um, made and then we'll be adding on our tilet units okay all right let's I mean this bracelet by the way it, it lays nice it's a comfortable bracelet you're gonna really like it so uh, meet me back here when you have that done and uh, we'll get started on the next stage all 
All right, so we are now ready to attach our Tyla beads to the bracelet. And um, this will be fairly simple and easy to do. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Um, to do so, when we attach our Tylas, we're going to be using 11-0 Delicus, by the way. All right, so a couple of things, whoops, <laughs> to note. There we go. Is where we're going to be attaching our Tyla beads. If you notice here, whoops, right, so we have the beginning, the top, and then the side. So we'll leave the first one. And we'll start with the very first, uh, be, between the first and second unit of each right angle weave. We'll start off with our connection. And we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to add a, a Leveno Delica and then a Tyla and then a Leveno Delica and connect here. And then do the same thing on the other side. So it's really simple. So basically we are just going to be weaving through between each connection of the right angle weave okay and what that's going to do it's going to bring your bracelet together and hold it together then the next step will be you know adding our class and adding our embellishments um, so we'll go from step by step on that process all right so let's go ahead what you want to do is grab 11 Odelica, a Tyla bead, and 11 Odelica. And make sure you are coming out of the correct spot. So you should be coming out from on your first band between the first and second. And you want to be facing towards the other band. That's where the thread should be. If not, make sure you're weave up to that point. Okay, and I'm just going to ignore the th um, tail on the others, and I'm just going to go ahead and weave through the second band, because I'm going to have two rows of Tyla. And by the way, this would work with just one row, too. If you just don't want the Rivoli and you just want the Tyla beads, you can do that too. Alright, then I'm going to pick up uh, between the second band and the third band another Tyla. And I'm going to pick up a Leveno, Tyla, a Leveno. And on the third band, I'm going to go between the first and second unit just like here. And I'm just going to ignore the tail for now. I'll deal with that later. All right. So we got the first Tyla connected. And now we want to connect those, those two Tylas on the second hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow the thread path. Whoops. It's a little awkward just starting out. Once we got a few Tylas on here, it'll be a lot easier to deal with. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead, go down to where the third and fourth Tyla, the second and third Tyla, uh, I'm sorry, second and third right angle weave units connect. I'm gonna come out of there, so that's right here, okay? I'm going to come out and because this is already connected, I'm going to pick up a Leveno Delica, go through the second hole, pick up another Leveno Delica and connect it to the second band and that will be between the second and third Tyla as well. Come out of the third, the second band. 
So my one tile is connected to the second and third band. Now I gotta finish connecting the first tile up between the first and second band through the second hole. So I'm gonna pick up a 11 Odelica. Go through that. And then go ahead and pick up another 11 Odelica and go through here. And so it's gonna be the same on each band when you're connecting. So when you're connecting your Tyla beads, your Tyla units, like here on the first band, it was between the first and second, first and second, first and second for all three bands. And then when it was con not connecting the second hole, it was the second and third, second and third, second and third. Now we'll connect our second units of Tyla beads. And that would be between the third and the fourth for the first hole and the fourth and the fifth for the second hole, okay? So we need to follow our thread path to turn around. and get ourselves to the spot where we want to be between the third and fourth units, right angle weave. And you don't have to count, you can easily see where these units are. If you notice, it'll be the little section here. These are the, the areas where we'll be connecting the Tyla beads, okay? So we'll, let me fix that. Alright, so I'm now coming out of the correct spot. This is a little twisted, so I'll just fix it. So I'll be taking my Tyla unit, which I include a Delica, Tyla, Delica, connecting it to the second band right here. Just like I did on the first band. And then doing the, the, another Tyla unit and connecting it between these two bands on the opposite side from here to here. So I'm gonna pick up 11 Odelica, my second Tyla unit group, second color I should say, that'll make it easier because I'll be doing the color schemes on the top and bottom the same. You don't have to, you can mix it up Use as many colors as you want. Have some fun. All right. Now I'm gonna pick up another Tyla unit at the beginning. So I'm picking up 11 -O, my Tyla, my 11 -O. And I'm going to connect that the second to the third band. All right. So I got the second color unit connected for me. And what I want to do is connect now those Tylus units on the second hole. So I'm just going to follow the thread path on the third right angle weave band. Just make my way down to 
where I want to be, right here. Then I'm going to pick up a Love and Odelica connected to the Tyla bead. And we're right now just going through the Tyla units one time, but we'll reinforce everything when we are doing our embellishment. There we go. And then I'm going to pick up another Love and Odelica connected to the second band, the middle band. There we go. And as you can see, it's getting a little easier just because we're bringing the bands together. So now I'll make my job a little easier as I go along. And then I'm going to pick up an, another 11 Odelica connected to the other tile on the, between the first and second band. And then I'm going to connect that tile to the very first band. And then I'll weave through the right angle weave unit so I'm right where I am to connect another Tyler unit. Oops. Right here. So what we're doing is we're just connecting the Tyler beads and when we do the uh, connection is we pick up 11 Odelicas, go through one set of hole, 11 Odelica, go through the little notch on the right angle weave unit, 11 Odelica, Tyla, 11 Odelica, and then notch. And then we weave through the right angle weave unit to turn around to go through the second hole, pick up 11 Odelica, go through that Tyla bead that we just went through on the first hole, but go through the second hole. 11 Odelica, go through the right angle weave unit where there's a little notch created, and then 11 Odelica, second hole of the Tyla, and 11 Odelica, and then that notch. Turn around and follow the thread path to do another whole unit of Tyla beads. So let's go ahead and pick up our 11 Odelica. Tyla bead, 11 Odelica. So we are coming out of this notch. We'll be going in through this notch, coming out on the other side, then connecting another Tyla unit from this notch to this notch over here. So let's go ahead and do our first Tyla. for the first hole. So we'll have to come back through later on and get that second hole through the other side. Now we're gonna go ahead, pick up a 11 -0, a Tyla, and a 11 -0. We're coming out of this notch right here, right here, and then we'll be going through this notch up here. The two right angle weaves where they connect. There we go. Now we need to turn around and connect those tilas on the second hole. So we're just going to follow our thread path for our right angle weave unit. So I'm coming out of here and I'll be going through here. Then I'm going to be going down here, so I'm going through the bead that I want to go through, and I'm facing the right direction automatically. So now I can go ahead and pick up an 11 Odelica, go through the second hole of that Tyla, pick up another 11 Odelica, go through the notch on the right angle weave unit that has no connection right here. Then 
Then I'm going to pick up another 11 Delica, go through the second hole of the other Tyla. Then I'm going to go ahead and pick up another 11 Delica, go through the first notch where there's not a connection right here. So I have that, those tilas completely connected. Then I just follow the right angle weave path to turn around to do another set of tila beads. And now I'm facing the other direction. So I can do another set of Tyla beads. Let's do one more set. And then I'll let you guys go to do this on your own. I'm just gonna pull this down so you can see. So I'm picking up 11 Odelica, Tyla, 11 Odelica. I'm coming out of this notch here and I'm going to go through this notch to the other side. It's okay that my right angle weave is a little out of whack at that point. Um, everything will straighten out as we go along. This will help it. And we'll be doing reinforcement once we get our embellishments on. So I'm coming out of this notch. I'll be going through this notch. So I'm going to pick up another 11 Odelica. A uh, Tyla and another 11 Odelica. Go through that little notch right up here. Then I'm going to turn around on my right angle weave by following the thread path. So I'm facing the right direction and coming out of the correct bead. So I'm gonna make another connection with, at this little notch, going through the Tyler bead. So I'm gonna pick up an 11 Odelica, go through the Tyler bead. Pick up another 11 Odelica, and I'm going to connect it to the very first notch that doesn't have a connection, which is right here. So I'm going to go through that, connect that. Then I'm going to pick up 11 Odelica, connect it to my Tyla bead. There we go. And then I'm going to pick up another 11 Odelica and connect it to the very first notch that doesn't have a connection right here. There. And you just keep repeating that process until you get to the length. And when you get to the very end, double check to make sure your band is the length you want. Keep in mind we'll be adding a little bit of a length that will depend on the size of your clasp. And um, for me, I'll be at, with my class, I'll add about a, um, a half of an inch. So I want this to be six and a half. And this bracelet does lie fairly flat. So I just wanted it to be about six and three quarters. Um, so it depends on the size you want. I would add an additional quarter just to make sure it fits properly. Um, what else is there you should know before I let um, meet you back here? Um, oh, yeah. So when you get to the very end, let's take a look at this for beginning side. So when you get to the very end, you may need to add one more unit to each side if it's the correct length. If not, um, make sure you have one additional unit on so that way we can add the clefts. So when you come to an end, Make sure you have a right angle weave unit where it's sticking out like this is. 
where we are going to be adding our class to the bracelets, okay? All right, um, I'll meet you back here. Have fun. Uh, and again, if I can't say this enough, thank you for checking out my videos and watching them. I do greatly appreciate it. And I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this project. So um, I, it's a lot easier than I probably make it out to be. Um, and it will look really sharp. And it's one of those bracelets that's very versatile and easy to do. So um, meet me back here. We'll do our clasp. And then after that, we'll do the embellishments. And um, I'm telling you, it's going to look sharp. All right. Take care. All right. So now that I've finished my band, um, I am going to need to add one more right angle weave on each section on the opposite side. So if you look at over here, I have the beginning of each unit sticking out. And then on the other side, it's not sticking out. So to be able to attach the band, what I do need is I do need to add a right angle weave unit to each end. So I'm just going to pick up on this thread which is still connected to the right angle weave unit. I'm going to go ahead and pick up three 11 OC beads and just create a right angle weave unit just like that. And then I'll do that for this one here and then this one over here as well. So meet me back here after you got all your right angle weave units set up to go ahead and we'll be then adding the band. All right, now we're just going to go ahead and add the clasp. Um, I have here a three string clasp that I'll be adding uh, to my project. Um, I got these from Amazon. I don't do a whole lot of ordering from Amazon, especially bead products, but um, these I think I did get from Amazon. All right, so now I have 15 um, Ricolis, um and 15 old Ricolis, and um, I have a total of eight. I am going to go ahead. So the way it will work for my um, project is that on one side the, the class will be facing up and on the other side it'll be facing down. So I'm going to go ahead string through the first hole go through the beginning of the second right angle weave the middle band in this particular case And I'm going to go ahead and string through the second hole. And I'll just go through that right angle weave unit again. Then I will pick up eight more 15 O's. And go through the other. Then I'll reinforce that. Now, as we're doing the embellishments and stuff like that, we'll be going through and reinforcing again then. But let's go ahead and reinforce at least once now. And make sure you go through all the beads. You don't have to go through them all at once. And if you're not certain if you've missed any, double check the back. Go 
through again. Just follow your thread path in the right angle weave. So I'm going to go through these eight. Make sure I'm not missing anything. And then go through your 15 rows again and your right angle weave. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my embellishment and on the other end do the exact same thing. Whoops. Forgot to go through my hole. All right. I'm just going to fix that by opening up that jump ring and putting it on. All right, so what the embellishment is going to be, it's going to be just like uh, the Blossom One bracelet, is we are going to be having X's in between each of the Tyla beads. And that way we don't have any gaps. And it just lays really nice and neat. Um, so when you do, you want to come out of the Delica in between each of the Tyla beads. Okay, so I'll be making an X here on this top section and then also I'll be making an X here. So what I'm going to do is just first um, create a diagonal up here, then come down, create a diagonal over here, then uh, get myself into position to finish off the X, get back up here to finish up the X, reinforce those stitches, and then go through and reinforce the Tyla beads. So I'm going to pick up 11 Odelica, a three millimeter fire polish, and 11 Odelica. And I'm gonna slide in. So I'm coming out of this Delica over here. So that means I'm gonna be going through this Delica on the opposite side on the other Tylet bead. And then I'm just gonna slide on down to the bottom section. And do the same thing, but since I'm coming out of here, oops, since I'm coming out of here, I want to go through over here. So you just have to think about where you're at and where you want to go. And then you go back through and you finish off the X. Give it a gentle tug. You don't want to be overly tight, but you want things to lie correctly. So I'm just following the right angle weave unit so I can get over to this opposite side so then I can then create my X. Okay, so I go through there. I pick up 11 Delica. I go through that previous fire polish. And I'm going to go to the opposite side. Oops, my thread caught on my uh, flat nose pliers. There we go. And we'll adjust things in just a moment. So I'll pick up 11 0. I just came out from over here, so I want to go through over here. and go through the Delica 11 and then the other Delica and 
Now I'm going to create my X up here. So I'm coming out from here. I want to ultimately go through there. So I'm going to pick up 11 -0, go through the fire polish, pick up 11 -0, and go through that Delica and 11 -0. Alright, now I'm just going to go through my right angle weave unit and just reinforce those stitches we just did. So we're going to just go through and make our X's again. So here's our one diangle. Slide on down to the bottom half. There we go. And here's our diangle for the bottom half. First side. Swing around to go to the other side of the diangle. Get into position. Second diangle for the bottom. Slide into position. There we go. Make sure I was in focus so you could see. There we go. And this is our sec on the top part X. We can get through. And if you can't get through all the beads, not a big deal. I'm just trying to do it so I can show you my X that we're creating. There we go. Oops, I lost that Delica. And then we'll just go through to reinforce the Tyla beads. So I'm just going to go down. I can get through. All right, then we'll reinforce the other Tyla bead and then we'll do the next and get ourselves in position for the next Tyla, I mean embellishment. There we go. 
So the next embellishment will be between these tilas on the top and bottom. I'm getting in position for that first maneuver. All right. So I'm coming out of here. I'll do my diagonal over here slide down to the next set come out of here do my first diagonal for the bottom between these two then i'll rotate myself over to here complete my first x slide through these speeds and then complete my second x and then i'll reinforce everything so let's go ahead pick up an 11 0 a fire polish and 11 0 Oops, let me do that again. There we go. Now I'll pick up my second 11 -0 Fire Polish 11 -0. I'm Coming out from here, I'm going to go through here. Now I'm over here, so I'll make my way over to here by following the thread path. All right, I'm coming out of here. I'm gonna create my X by going through in this direction. So I'm going to pick up 11 0, go through my fire polish on there. Pick up at 11 0, Delica. And I'm going to go through on the opposite side and then maneuver myself to the next, to the top section. There we go. I'm coming out of here, so I want to go over to here to create and complete my X. There we go. Then I'm just going to reinforce everything I just did, then reinforce the Tyla beads, then do the same thing for over between these two Tylas on the top and bottom, and again and again. Um, so that's the final portion of it. Um, <clears throat> and then at the very end, you are going to add your clasp. And um, just remember, it's a uh, Eat um, 15 o recall uh, recolis, uh, 15 o's, and um, depending on your class, now for me, I'll have it facing this direction at the bottom, so that way it'll sit just like this on the top.
So every class is a little bit different. So just pay attention to the type of clasp you have there and how you need to put it on. One way is to just kind of, when you get to that point before you actually bead it um, all the way through, test it out. Um, and that way you'll know for certain. All right, now for the final finishing touch. Um, and I do apologize for that brain fart earlier um, and for getting this part. But what we're going to be doing next is, let me just zoom in here. There we go. Slide this over. You see these little indents? We're just going to be adding delicas just like we did with the first blossom bracelet. So I'm just going to pick up one. Here, let me just slide this to this direction here. There we go. So I'm just going to pick up one 11 delica. And slide that in. And then another 11 delica and slide that in. And I'm going to do that all the way to the other end reinforce um, my um, where my um, clasp is attached and then do the other side and then once I'm done with that I'll probably go around one more time and just reinforce that so meet me back here towards the end where we'll um, turn around and do the other side okay all right All right, so I just had the final one on this side. As you can see, we have our, our right angle weave right over here. I'm just going to go ahead and, and reinforce my clasp. And I've already reinforced this a few times, so it's getting difficult. So I think in this particular case, since I have reinforced it so many times, there we go. Oops, let me go get my pliers. Very gentle. Don't want to break the bead. There. Woo! <laughs> Little sigh of relief. I think in this particular case, because I have reinforced that section so many times, I am going to go ahead and just keep going and turning around. So if I do reinforce my beads, um, for the, the final touch, I will skip this section and just go through the Tyla. Just to avoid breaking that bead. Just because um, I have so many thread pass already through there, I don't want to risk of uh, <laughs> undoing all my work that I've done so far. Alright, so I'm just going to go around. And if we take a look, here's our right angle weave unit right here the first four I'm gonna go in on the side there we go and then pick up my first 11 oh and then do the same thing now you do um, not have to reinforce you can if you want I probably will, but like I said, I'll probably skip the class um, section for both sides just because I've gone through them so many times already. <clears throat> I 
to tie off some of my old thread and that sort of thing. So I just don't want to risk breaking any beads. There we go. And that's all you need to do. And when you're done, just make sure you um, do three to uh, two to three half knots and you're good as gold. All right. Um, again, when you're done, I would really appreciate seeing photos of your guys' finner projects. Um, and it should be um, a blast. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, I greatly appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, it's a really fun bracelet. It really, really, really is. And it just... Um, it's very similar to the first bracelet, a few differences, and this one you can make as wide as you want. Um, it looks nice just with like two rows, but you could do it with one, you could do three, four. Um, I think five probably would be the highest I go, but hey, if you're adventurous, go for it. Um, so, um, have fun and uh, show me your photos of your finished projects. I really would uh, love seeing them. Uh, take care and see you later.